Welcome back. This is Scott Jarvie, and we have the top 10 images of 2011 travel pictures taken by myself. We started with 35,000 pictures, or I should say I started with 35,000 pictures, and brought to you 100 of the favorites. And in this last week or two, you have been voting, and now we are down to the final 10. Now I want to tell you some stories so that maybe you can help, and, and what you'll do is... Uh, Go to either Google Plus or Facebook and rank them in order of your very favorites. So, all right, this is the Moving Rocks of Death Valley. Um, and so what happened, this was a photo walk in Death Valley with a bunch of people from Google Plus. There was 20, 30, I can't remember exactly how many photographers. We drove out to what is called the racetrack where these rocks are. We did a sunset. It was a nice sunset, and uh, I stayed. Uh, I stayed. It, you know, I slept in the car. Stayed over that night. Got up super early in the morning. No one around. One of the freakiest things ever is to go out into this place. Just so weird. Went out there early in the morning, and took pictures with the stars. And here, as you can see, this is sunrise. I use a little bit of a external light to help light up this face of the rock and uh, to help match with the background. All right, next, uh, here's uh, one, of the, one of the few uh, driving pictures that made it in there, meaning I was in the car when I took this picture. This is in Ohio, Amish area. And um, I know I love taking pictures of the Amish uh, areas of the world. I don't know, not to you know, feature in any of their faces in the pictures. It's not uh, very respectful that way. Uh, but this one is just, I uh, just love this picture. Perfect in black and white. Looks like it's an old picture, but it's, you know, I took this in 2011. All right, one of my uh, favorite drives in the world is just right where I live here in Utah. And this is up the American Fork Canyon in Utah County. And there's a little uh, river I pass by all the time when I go up there and do portrait shoots or wedding shoots up in that area. I got out of the car this time and took a few uh, focused here on these little, uh, the stream river. One of my favorite places in the world is Capitol Reef National Park. This was, I believe, the very first time I ever went to Capitol Reef. I've been back since this year. Uh, you know, a plug for that. It, early next year I will start the the best of 2012 and look forward to that because the pictures are several times over I focused a lot on travel pictures this year and focused on getting some really great stuff and in, in years past I've been very documentive based uh, on the go a lot and didn't really focus as heavily on sunsets and sunrises as I did this year but this was last year. Um, I just love this place because it's just freaking, it's just amazing. I mean, this was the middle of the day. So, it, I don't know. This is twilight. This is, um, the time of day is twilight after sunset. This is from San Francisco shooting towards Oakland in the background. This is the Bay Bridge. And this was on a photo walk. Uh, one of the very first photo walks I went on that had a that after Google Plus was created and with a bunch of Google Plus people. So I was here uh, with Thomas Hawk and Karen Hutton and, a few, and Peter Adams and a few other people that had went on this photo walk. Um, I went to uh, Yosemite a couple times last year in 2011 and this was one of my shots. I believe I was also with a group of um, people as a photo walk, I believe, on this situation. And uh, they had all kind of gone back to the car and because sunset was over. And I love that period shortly after sunset. You get some stars and um you know it's just everything's kind of nicely lit up if you've got a tripod and are willing to do some longer exposures. So this is here in Yosemite. And this is also Yosemite. So a couple of pictures made it from the Yosemite trip. Um, you know, this is an interesting story because I never really imagined that this one would be in the top 10 because of the circumstances of me basically taking this while I was driving. Um, and another one like the Amish. The Amish one I stopped for and I was waiting for them to pull out. I said, go ahead, Amish, and 
do your thing. I'm happy to sit here and snap a few pictures. This is smoke in the background here. Um, uh, Yosemite had had a, a few fires kind of lingering, so um, the smoke was low lying, and um, I believe this was early morning, if I'm not mistaken. Just driving around, can't remember where it was. Here I was with a group of photographers that I uh, met on Google Plus, including uh, Colby Brown. And we had hiked to the subway. And uh, we got there at a good time of day, which is midday because it's pretty dark in there. And we sat here freezing our butts off in uh, early November. And it was the water was freezing cold. We were had just been hiking, so we didn't really pack in warm weather stuff because we were pretty warm the whole trip until we got here into the subway. Subway is a feature in Zion National Park. Uh, requires a permit to get into. So uh, this picture may look familiar like a few other people's because uh, we were there at the same time and I just treated it uh, with the edits a little bit differently. So gave it the Jarvi touch. Uh, here is a, another picture of Yosemite National Park. Uh, this was a cool little story. I was basically driving around the valley floor a couple of circles and I was just about done because sunset was hitting and I didn't really know where I wanted to be for sunset. I didn't really, I needed to be, you know, I needed to be on the road heading to my destination. Uh, but I did uh, pass by the Bridalville Falls view here and I noticed that this moon was just barely rising and I was kind of like, you've got to be kidding me. Right over the falls, this is too good to be true. Uh, no one was around, I pulled up and I just started to shoot a few pictures. By the time I left, there was a large crowd of people taking pictures because it was such a great, awesome experience. All right, here's another one from that photo walk. If you remember uh, the one with the Bay Bridge in the background, well, this was just maybe 30, 40 minutes after that. I got out onto one of the piers with a couple other people. I believe Karen Hutton was here with me on this pier. Another great photographer, look her up. And I shot down back at uh, the city from the pier. And uh, true to San Francisco style, we had some low-lying clouds and whatnot. So this is the story of the top 10 images from 2011. Uh, go ahead and uh, peruse through them. I will also put a link to the top 100 if you would like to look. Uh, they're on Smugbug and you can, uh, of course, order pictures for your own walls. And feel free to join in the fun. Follow me here on YouTube and I will release uh, more videos, slideshows, and some photography tips and look forward to a new channel starting soon with a new series of YouTube uh, formatted videos. I'd love to hear what you think of these pictures and we'll talk to you later.